It's air vent oh. and then disappears back into the darkness. Oh no, 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 no. Look at the face. What is going on everyone? Welcome. Welcome to the channel. So I've been getting lots of feedback saying that you all want me to continue doing these uh, reaction videos for Nuke's top five and the like. So Nuke released a new video a couple of days ago. So I've not watched anybody react to it. I've not even watched it yet. So I wanted to hold off until I've done this. This is top five scary ghost videos that will make your daddy leave home. Will make your daddy leave home. Which is fitting considering it's Father's Day. Before we begin, I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you are doing well. I hope you are all fantastic. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you have any recommendations, please leave them in a the comment below. Let me know what is going on in your life. And if you do make it all the way through this video, don't forget you can give it a like and subscribe yourself if you haven't already. That would be wonderful. You don't have to. That's completely up to you. Without further ado, let's get right into this. Alright, Nuke, let's see what you've got. Boom! Let's go! And happy Pop Father's Day ghosts. to all of your Pop daddies camera. out there. The Magnolia Hotel. The Magnolia Hotel in Seguin, Texas is said to be extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. By multiple the hotel ghosts. was built in 1840, and over its 180 year history, many people have passed away inside its walls. So Isn't that normal for all hotels though? Don't all hotels have people passing away all the time? But I suppose it's an old fucking hotel, so... Um, even taking their own lives. The current owners of the hotel, Jim and Aaron Getty, claim to have experienced intense paranormal activity while living there, and many of the hotel guests have captured Ooh. ghostly images of spirits that haunt the hotel. One of the most active spirits in the hotel is said to be that- Look at the mad wee guy's face. Look at that. Looks like a thumb. But that- could that not be like- you can see- on the top left, just above me, there is what looks to be either somebody there or some sort of mannequin. Could it be a reflection, that one? Captured ghostly images of that spirits one just looks as though it's that haunt the hotel. That one... I don't even know where that is. It looks, it looks as though it's a fucking Hitler haircut. Like a 1920s side pattern. But that doesn't, that looks, that doesn't look like a human. I mean, I suppose there's an eye. I don't know, it looks like a fucking Picasso. Unless Picasso's hot in this place and his eyes are all over the fucking place and yielding his ears and his fucking forehead, I don't know. And the other one just looked like a shadow. One of the most active spirits in the hotel is said to be that of a 12 year old girl named Emma. Fuck. That. No. Give me... Creepy... Woman. Give me creepy man. Give me anything else but dead children. Oddly enough, Emma never even stayed in the Magnolia Hotel. Why is she there? But the man who violently took her life did live there. Oh, so she's haunting In 1874, him. a man named Wilhelm Faust horribly ended little Emma's life using an axe. Jesus. Wilhelm was still staying at the Magnolia Hotel when he was caught and executed for his crime. Holy it is said shit. that both the angry spirit of Wilhelm and the gentle child ghost Emma are both forever trapped inside the Magnolia Hotel. Paranormal investigators Colin and Peyton from the YouTube channel The Paranormal Files travel to the Magnolia Hotel to do an investigation at the allegedly haunted inn. They experience something truly bizarre. Fucking axe murdering bastard. What kind of animal? Axe murders. A 
12 year old kid disgusting the fact that she's still sticking around as well haunting his ghost is that, is that a thing? can ghosts haunt other ghosts? I don't know, I've never asked anyway look, look, look back to these two he looks dope to fuck and she she looks familiar, I don't know why she looks familiar but she has like a really friendly face I'm saying that so does he, he's got like a, a sort of friendly smile I'm, I don't know about the haircut, in the 90s do the old Saved by the Bell look Colin and Peyton from the YouTube channel The Paranormal Files travel to the Magnolia Hotel to do an investigation at the allegedly haunted inn. They experience something truly bizarre. Was it his barber? They're just, yeah, just standard fire. bangs. Yeah, Things go bump in the night. Is that a gun? Was that a gun? You're in Texas, mate. <laughs> Everybody and their fucking dog has a gun. It's illegal to live in Texas without a gun. That's a gun. That's a gun. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's a gun. That's an old revolver. I mean, coming from literally right there. They hear the unexplained sounds of knocking and possible gunfire while exploring the hotel. <coughs> Sounds like an old six shooter. Rooms. However, it's what they didn't hear at the time that is absolutely chilling. What is it? For a second, too, before we go to the unfinished part. I'll kill the lights. Yeah. Guys, I know. Oh my boring. Jesus yeah, God, no. No, fuck that. Holy fucking shit. <coughs> oh, oh, I've got a headache now. Oh no, fuck this. Nuke, why did you have to come flying in with this one? Guys, I know. Oh, I know it's cough kind of at my ear. Guys, I know. I know it's kind of messy. Fuck off with your mummy. You're, you're fucking dead. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Don't the slow voice it down. Of what sounds like a young girl can be heard saying the eerie word, mommy. Now, if that wasn't creepy enough, the owners of the Magnolia Hotel actually caught what they believe to be the same young girl, little Emma. On one of their static cameras. Fuck up, what? The camera is set up in the room where the ghost of Emma has reportedly been seen. Oh, uh, uh, no, 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 rewind for a second. Uh, rag the ant dolls. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's what the, do you know the, the conjuring with Annabelle? The doll. Do you know it looks like one of those wee creepy porcelain dolls with the cracks all over its face and it's fucking terrifying. That's just a cinematic thing. To make it look scary. The real Annabelle doll is even fucking more demonically terrifying. Because it is one of those dolls. The Raggedy Ann dolls. With the fucking smile. And there's no cracks, scars, scratches on it. Which makes it ten times fucking scarier. So anytime I see one of these fucking dolls. I just automatically go. Demon has reportedly been seen and heard the most. They call it the quote, children's room. One day they leave a bunch of balls and toys for Emma to play with. And then this happens. Okay, the ball's rolling. The ball's rolling. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, I saw that. Where did it go? What happened there? Balls on the floor mysteriously oh, Jesus, seem to just start rolling around on their own. But what's- Fuck me! Give me a heads up like a 
fucking countdown before you just whack yourself in with it. Fucking hell, Nuke, man. Most bizarre about this footage is the strange shadow figure yeah, what that the fuck follows was that? right after the unexplained movement. Could it be that the spirit of little Emma is playing with the toys? Is the Magnolia Hotel haunted by the ghosts of- But also, if you look very closely at the dress, it moves ever so slightly. Movement. Could it be that the spirit the of dress. little Emma is See? playing with the toys? Is the Could that be a... Could that be a draft? Causing that? Because you saw the, the dress move like that. It's, it's either that or she's clawing at the fucking dress. So look at that again. See? Could it be that the spirit of little Emma is playing See, with the toy? Then again, it can't be uh, a draft because the curtains aren't moving. So it can't be a draft. So what's causing the dress to move? Is it a string? Getting pulled somewhere? Is there something going on? So I don't know why this dress is moving. And I don't know what's going on with the mad wee fucking alien head over here. Please? Is the Magnolia Hotel haunted by the ghosts of the people who lost their lives inside its walls? Let me know what you think don't know about down the, in the comments. The ball and the shadow you thing. can watch Colin that, and Peyton's entire investigation over on the YouTube yeah. channel. The Paranormal Files. Go check them out. And you can find more spooky evidence and photos over on the Magnolia oh. Hotel's Facebook page. Hold on, rewind. I'll keep rewinding, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rewind. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Paranormal Files. Oh, congratulations. Hold on, is that... Is that hard as well? Did they get engaged together? If they did, congratulations to the, the happy couple. And you can find more spooky evidence and photos over on the Magnolia Hotel's Facebook page. Viewer videos. In this next segment, I'm very happy to feature some extremely creepy videos that were sent to me directly via email by Nukes Top 5 viewers. Yeah. First up, this Love video it. was sent in by Dex, who claims that one of his friends has been going on apartment viewings in the hopes of finding a new place to live. I know his friend that. recorded one of the that. empty apartments so he could look back at the footage later to help him decide. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked by what he finds. So, have a quick review, have a look around. It's normal, that's what I would do. Okay, it's the usual. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? Did you see it? Yeah, yeah, what? While recording, Dex's friend thinks he sees something out of the corner of his eye. A dark shadow-like figure standing at the end of the hallway. Ooh. But when he pans back, nothing there. I, uh... So did Dex's friend capture a ghost on camera? And could it be that the apartment is empty for a reason? Uh... I leave it up to you to decide. I think you've taken a, a, a house off your list there, mate. I, I wouldn't go anywhere near that again. This next video was emailed to me by Connor from Corpus Christi, Texas. In his email, he explains that his cousin is awakened in I, the middle of the night when a stranger hook. suddenly approaches his ring doorbell. Oh, the doorbell hey, camera records. So I want a ring doorbell. I want to get one of these things. I don't know if they're any good, but I've seen loads of shit. Like, I've seen... People use it for, you know, cat, there's, I've seen people catch shit, people stealing Amazon packages, people trying to break into their cars, people just coming up to the door. Uh, it, it's always kind of good to see who's there. But I've also seen some terrifying footage coming from these things. Like, just people in clown outfits or, you know, somebody just appearing in front of it with a manic look in their face uh, or you see a creature or a ghost or an apparition or something just walking past it's, uh, it's creepy I'd, lo I'd love to you know try one out and see if it's any good like a ring doorbell or a ring security system because obviously I've got I've got a daughter 
you know, 13 month old, so it's all about security in the house and making sure that she's safe. But I don't know. I don't particularly want to be messaging Nuke with my own fucking videos, you know what I mean? As things take a very creepy turn. Yeah, this kind of shit, like... Just somebody ringing the bell all the time. Hey guys! I swear to you, in all my life, I swear I mean you no harm. No, please, I mean you no harm. Doggy. Can, can you please come outside and let me know I'm alive? I don't, I don't know what's going on. No, God. I'm gonna live. I'm gonna live. I swear I'm gonna live. Because someone's in here. Guys, please come outside, please. Ah, oh, no, I'm not dead. What? I'm not dead. What? What? I don't get it. It's just a drunk guy, right? It's just a drunk guy. Please tell me it's just a drunk guy. I, 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 I don't know what I'm looking for. My eyes are scanning. My eyes are scanning. The man who rang the doorbell Fucking is hell. odd and erratic as he pleads for them to open the door and let him inside. Understandably, they don't answer the door. Yeah. And the man eventually walks away defeated, loudly yelling, I'm not dead. Yeah, Connor's right. cousin has no idea what happened to the man, and the scary event remains a mystery. But I'd guess some chemical substances yeah. were probably involved. If you see a video that you think would be perfect- That's not paranormal. That's just a drunk guy trying to get in a house. Prick for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something I was great, waiting for him to get flung, at, stop like flung at through the door com. or some shit. Visits to the funeral home. Chinese ghost hunter and popular live streamer Xiao Long is back with another scary adventure at a creepy abandoned funeral home in Jinjiao City, China. Local legend says that restless souls unable to move on after their deaths have found themselves trapped inside the funeral home, eternally doomed to haunt the lonely abandoned building forever. Local it certainly builds up a good fucking story, doesn't he? So I don't think I've reacted to this Xiao Long person. Uh, I think I've seen some of his videos in the past, uh, in passing, but I've never actually reacted to any of his stuff. We'll say the home is cursed. Uh, it but is cursed. As always, none of that stops our. Fucking is it the is it the mummy? Yeah, it's the mummy, the original one with Brendan Brendan Fraser, with the. <laughs> The guy's like, oh, it's cursed. He's like, oh, why is everything cursed with you? This is cursed. This is cursed. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Boy Xiao Long. He travels to the abandoned funeral home completely alone. Fuck As that. he's exploring outside the building, he stumbles upon an old abandoned hearse that was once used to transport bodies. What happened? I don't know about you, but where I come from, a hearse is a big fancy looking car. That has it's basically a a station wagon. That's just a white truck. That's a pickup van. That's where you put your tools. <laughs> and and all that. What is is this a? D I get it. Is in China. But do you guys just, like in China, I don't even know if any Chinese people will be watching this. Uh, if anybody is from China, please let me know. Do you guys just have the your caskets chucked in the back of a white van? What happens next is truly bizarre. Also, do you guys still bury your dead in China? Because... That's a, that's a lot of dead people. 
I'm not saying that you're, you're killing people off. I'm just saying that, you know, with billions of people living in a country, that's a lot of dead people over the course of a month, two months, three months. So where do, where do you put all the bodies? Do you not cremate them or do you put them in some sort of mausoleum or what? Is that why you just have white vans? Because you just pile caskets on top of one another and then bury them rather than doing one single long car parade or whatever like they do here. Uh, 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 what the fu what the fuck? Yeah, fuck your mother indeed. That fucking crunching though. That is fucking weird. Like, there's... Unless somebody's physically moving it, you can't push a button fast enough to get the thing to do that. Yeah. Xiaolong fans love the creepy live stream and demand that he return to the haunted funeral home for yet another visit. As Again, I'm pausing. You guys are... If you watch this outdoor Xiaolong person and you watch his live streams, you are sadistic fuckers. Oh, this guy shit, shit his pants. This guy is in danger. Fuck it, let's send him back. No, leave the poor man alone. <laughs> Ways he broadcasts his investigation live as he explores a different area of the he's building. Only, he's only about 10 as years you old. Might suspect it did not go well. He's a young boy, you're gonna end up either killing him early or aging him by about 40 years. Also, stop saying fuck your mother to ghosts. Come on, this is. Oh! Oh, it's just a door opening. Oh, is it? Oh! Oh! Fuck. That. Is that one of the fucking caskets getting flung? It is as well. Is that where they keep bodies? Don't tell it to... <laughs> Xiaolong is horrified. Fuck your mother. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why would you do that? Stop telling these ghosts to go fuck their mums. <laughs> when he discovers that the area was actually used to store human bodies. Yeah, that's, that's the board. Even he's starting to freak out a bit, he returns to the crematorium carrying what he says is a protective amulet. He finds an old oven. And that's when he... Yeah, that's a protective amp. No, no, no. That's one of those fucking wish.com knuckle duster things. What are you going to do? Fucking puncture the ghost to death? Bang. Is that what you're expecting? This ain't the Looney Tunes, mate. We're not in a Warner Brothers outfit. See something absolutely horrifying. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. What, what are we going to see? Tony, oh, Oh, fuck off. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck are you? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? There's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of screaming, but what the fuck was that? A terrifying pale face seems to rise up through the oven's air vent oh. and then disappears back into the darkness. Oh no, 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 no. Look at the face. That looks like a little girl. Could this be one of the souls that are said to be trapped inside the funeral? Oh, home? fuck I leave no. it to you to decide. Fuck no, you can watch I'm, this I'm entire still exploration waiting for and screaming. many more creepy videos over on Xiaolong's YouTube channel. Outdoor Shaolong. Oh, I get fucked. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Okay, TikTok. TikTok user go. Michael TikTok, TikTok. says that he started experiencing terrifying paranormal activity in his home after he played around with a Ouija board at a friend's house. Why? How many times do 
just not even myself like I've, I've just started doing this now how many times have other people said over and over again to tiktok users to old school vine users to you know vine's not a thing anymore but to facebook users to twitter instagram anybody that does ghost hunting stuff don't use a fucking ouija board it doesn't matter if it's a kid's game it doesn't matter if it was a stupid board game that was designed back in the 20s or whenever the fuck it was for a bit of a laugh no don't because you don't know what you're fucking about with for a love of shit it could be a whole bunch of bullshit it could be a whole fucking massive hoax crap whatever it is but still all it takes is for, for one fucking idiot to to ruin it for everybody and summon I don't know a shit demon fucking Gugoth and a shit demon what movie was that from? I can't remember what movie that's from the one with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck oh cock I can't remember what it's called let me know down below us he says that he believes that he might have accidentally summoned a demonic entity that followed him home. In an attempt to record himself and explain what's been going the on, the issue with he's interrupted demons by something very is creepy. demons don't attach onto the house. So I've had a lot of weird stuff they attach onto lately, the person. I, I can't. Hello. A child's voice can be heard. Yet Michael claims he has no children. He says he doesn't know where the mysterious voice could have possibly come from. So, again, demons. Like that, that creepy kid's voice. I just thought that was his kid. That's why I didn't react. I was like, oh, he's, his kid's come to the door. Uh, yeah, so, like, they'll make... If it's a demon, though, most of the videos and most of the time when you see demons uh, on these things, there will be sort of animal sounds or animal looking things or growls, grunts. And occasionally there'll be a, like a kid's voice or laughter. So they can be playful and they can be malicious. So Michael decides to set up static cameras all around his home in the hopes of capturing more proof of the paranormal activity that has been terrorizing him. Get your fucking when cat he looks out back there. at the footage from his kitchen camera, he's shocked. I'm gonna end up. Look at the poor cat. Oh my god. Why the poor thing? Terrorizing your cats. Michael and his girlfriend Heather decide to do another mm. Ouija board session. No, this time to try to get answers as to what is going on. What's but going on is your own take a fucked in the head. Turn. Eight. L L where is he hell? R. Oh, here. E. Here. Here. Come on. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. <laughs> I'm freaked out now. <laughs> Again, just pulling the damn planchette over to goodbye and saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye is not enough. You both have to do it. And then proceed to take a super soaker filled with fucking Jesus juice and just <laughs> fucking douse it. No, 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 no. Oh no. Hold on, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, wait, something's on the stairs. Is that upstairs? I heard a dump. Oh, Oh my, oh my god, what the fuck was that? Something violently crashes to the ground right next to oh. Heather 
and then they both hear a loud sound coming from upstairs. When they look up the staircase, someone or something that they can't see comes charging down the stairs at it's, them. It's so it was coming so from is the, Michael's the house right? Michael's haunted by a demonic entity? Right? <laughs> Drop your thoughts down in the comments. It sounded as though it was coming from the other the side. user Roche Bananas is working the night shift as a security guard on a reservation in Saskatchewan, Canada. When she and her co- Big up security to it. Saskatchewan. It's a barren wasteland. Uh, okay, so she's working on the res. Worker sees something very strange. When we work night security 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. and we see something coming at us at midnight. Who is it? Who the fuck is that? I was, is that a guy in a ghillie suit? Tic Tac user Roche Bananas claims she. There's a guy in a ghillie suit walking towards him and she's just going, <laughs> Don't laugh at it. I don't know who it is. He has no idea what she recorded that night and is pretty spooked by the creepy encounter. Many concerned TikTok viewers believe that it could be anything from a skinwalker uh, to Bigfoot the to a ghost. No, it's a guy. It looks like a guy in a ghost. What do you it? think it is? Is it real? Hold on. Or is it all Hold on. Hold just on. an elaborate? You can see his shoes. <laughs> you can see his shoes. It's. Skinwalker? No. Uh, no, no, no. Bigfoot? To Look, a ghost? There you go. There is his shoes. But what do you think it is? He's got those Yeezys is it real, on. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You he's, decide. He's got his new Yeezys on. The Eternal Bride. All of the residents of Culiacan in Sinaloa, Mexico know of the story of Lupita, the Eternal Bride. The story goes that back in the early. Is that true? Are you from Mexico? Do you know about the Eternal Bride? Lu is it Lupita? Lupita? Early 1950s, a young woman named Lupita was engaged to be married to her childhood sweetheart, Jesus. The bride-to-be and her fiancé were both friends with a man named Ernesto, who was hopelessly in love with Lupita. But okay. Lupita had no romantic interest at all in Ernesto. Ernesto was driven mad by his jealousy, and on the wedding day, he took the life of Lupita's husband-to-be as she watched on in horror. Holy shit. Ernesto then took his own life. Lupita was so traumatized by the event that she never recovered and just completely lost touch with reality. Every I'm Sunday for the next 30 years, Lupita would dress in her wedding gown and walk to the church cathedral in town. After her death in 1982, she was buried and it is said that she aimlessly roams the cemetery grounds still in her wedding dress to this day. A paranormal Is that real? Like is this a is this a real thing? Lu Lupita uh, Jesus and Ernesto, is this a real fucking is this a real thing? Cause if it is, then that's that's fucking tragic. Normal investigator from Mexico who happens to share the name Ernesto from the YouTube channel Zona Paranormal Veracruz is joined by his friends and fellow investigators El Payaso de la Toledo and Lorena Jacobo. Together they explore the cemetery late at night. They hear strange unexplained sounds I, all around them. I recognize this happens. the woman's name. Hey. I think I've, I've seen something to do with that woman before. Muéstrate, Lupita. Lupita, show yourself. Te pido que te muestres. What? Ya te vi. Ya jalaste energía. Oh es my cierto, God. Yo me llamo Ernesto. <gasps> A la madre. Payaso, 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 payaso. Ahí, güey. Ahí, don't, ahí, ahí se asomó. Don't say your fucking name, man. Yo me llamo Ernesto. Don't say your el, name. El, el, que, el que asesinó a tu esposo. Así se llamaba el que asesinó a tu esposo. ¿Estás enojada porque me llamo como él? No, que voy. Don't fucking tell him. Voy a ver, voy a ver si, si que puta vez. Ahí va. De lado, ponte que. A ver. A ver. De lado. Ay, ay, payaso. Mira, 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 mira. The guy's like, uh, see that guy that fucking killed your husband or husband to be? I've got the same name as him. Are you angry? That I have the same name. My name is Ernesto. <laughs> Why would you do that? You asking for a slap? 
El bote. Espérame, 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 espérame. espérame. He's stuck. Ay, güey. Ay, en eso me está cabez, güey. Ay, güey. Algo me está jalando, güey. Algo me está jalando la espalda, güey. Mira, 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 mira. mira. Chinga. Jesus, fuck. Algo me jaló la, la mochila. Payaso, algo, algo, algo me jaló la mochila, güey. Vamos, vamos para, para la tumba. Está enojada conmigo, güey. Me, me jalaron la espalda. Me jalaron la espalda, güey. Me jalaron la espalda. Me jalaron la espalda. Oh my god, where the fuck is that? Está dentro de esa tumba. Vamos, vamos, pero a, a, yo quiero ir a... Where's the woman in all this? Está enojada conmigo, güey. Where's back here? Me jalaron la espalda. What's that? Me jalaron la espalda, güey. Me jalaron la espalda. Me jalaron la espalda. No, 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 we're not just gonna stop there. Vamos, vamos para, Give para me a second. Está enojada conmigo, güey. Me, me jalaron la espalda. What the Jesus is that? Like a thick. Either she's standing there, the other ghost hunter is standing chilling there. The ghost is standing chilling there, or there's something else going on in this part of the fucking. Because watch, if I skip back a little bit, he comes out and then there's something behind him. Está enojada conmigo, güey. Watch. Me jalaron la espalda. There. Me jalaron la espalda. And then something fucks off into the distance. Oh, I don't like that. Está tumba, güey. Está dentro de esa tumba. Vamos, vamos, pero yo quiero ir a su tumba. Ernesto is broadcasting live on Facebook when he spots someone oh, appear and like disappear that. near one of the graves. They hurry over to investigate, but Ernesto gets stuck in between two tombs. In a shocking turn, Ernesto feels someone or something pulling him back. See, we can't and then, judge that. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. Did you right see it? behind Payaso, another mysterious <gasps> apparition yeah. is lurking behind see? the tomb. Now again, this is a live stream broadcast. The figure is spotted by the viewing audience, but the two investigators are completely unaware of what they've just captured. Yeah, because you see the hood over its head, but there's no face. Watch. If I go back. By the viewing but... audience, but the two investigators are completely un... What? You can see the hood? Because I was like, what the fuck? But yeah, there's a shawl. You see the hood, the shawl, the top of the shawl, and there's, there's no face. So she's just like... I'm coming to get you, Ernesto. You fucked me over, so it's my turn to fuck you. <laughs> Who fucked is that? Unaware of what they've just captured. They continue their exploration. Oh, oh. Is that somebody standing there? <gasps> Payaso caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, güey. Caminó aquí enfrente, cabrón. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. La agarré, la agarré, la agarré, la agarré. Margarita, Margarita. La agarré, güey, la agarré, la agarré. Ay, 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 ay. 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 Ay, ay, Sí, eh, estás mandando, estás en vivo todavía. Ahí está Lorena y está en vivo, señores. Lo, lo que vimos, vimos a la novia. La agarramos. My eyes are scanning. My eyes are scanning. Eh, eh, eh. Es que es que dicen que que me puede seguir porque Wait. yo me llamo como el que mató a su esposo. Me jalaron la mochila. Había un lugar donde donde no cabía y me jalaron la mochila. A ver, les voy a she, enfocar para que vean. She didn't know que you Lore, had the fucking same name until you kept telling her. Miren, aquí estoy. Lore. Sigue en vivo. The guys see an apparition that appears to be wearing a long white dress. Oh they shit! They quickly go to find fellow investigator Lorena, who's broadcasting her own live stream in a different area of the cemetery. She explains that she too saw the figure of what appeared to be Lupita, the lonely bride. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, this stream was live, so mm -hmm. it would be very hard to fake. But what do you think? Let me know down below. What do you guys think? It would be hard to fake, but it is possible. You can check out more of Ernesto's creepy live streams over on his YouTube channel, Zona Paranormal Veracruz. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram here, Twitter, do it. here. You know what to do.
Oh, hey, hey, look at that. It's a. Hey, TikTok. look at that. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully. Uh, fucking go check it out. Go watch the video. Go show him some love. Go tell him I sent you. Go leave a comment saying go check out uh, CMP Dave's channel. If you enjoyed this, if you stuck with me to the very end, then give this video a like. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already but you want to, you can hit that subscribe button. And if you have subscribed, again, I thank you so much. You guys are fucking awesome. Uh, even if you're lurking the page and you're watching it but you're not subscribing, you're still awesome. You guys are fucking tremendous. So just leave me a comment if you're passing through saying hi. If you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you have subscribed, again, thank you. Uh, but don't forget, you can hit the bell icon if you want to be notified whenever I do upload something. Because sometimes I miss a day, sometimes I don't miss a day. Uh, some videos I know get suppressed because of my egregious swearing. So if you haven't seen me upload anything for a while, just double check. Because uh, I know that my videos don't particularly do well on the, the old YouTube algorithm. But yes. Ding that bell icon. As always, my social media is down below, along with an, a link to Nuke's channel. Everything's in the description. Uh, along with my merch site as well. You can go grab yourself some merchandise. If you have any uh, ideas for any merch you want me to make, any anything that you've picked up on that I say or do, then, you know, just let me know. And I'll see you about making it for merch. Uh, I might even do some giveaways. Until next time. Take care.